Hi guys, this is lesson number 72 from our Coral Draw Training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful simple flyer design in Coral Draw. Basically, here we have three images clipped in the shapes, some custom shapes. We have text box, normal text and text on curve path. Our size is A5. You can choose the size here. Once you open the document, you can click on this drop down and choose your desired size and the measurement units. I set here in mm. You can choose your desired measurement units from this drop down. The first thing we are going to set the margin guides. Go to the tools menu, option, customization. In previous version of Coral Draw, you can find the things here, but from 2020 and above, you can click on this button here document. Once you will click here, you will get all the document options. From here click on guidelines, click on preset, preset type drop down, choose user define. Since we need to set the margin, so check this box. I am going to set the margin 3 mm. I will type 3 in the top and left. Make sure the mirror margin is checked. So the same margin it will reflect to the bottom and right. So click OK. You can see we have here margin guides. Double click on the rectangle tool to create rectangle with the page size. Using pen tool, we will create curve path. Here we have pen tool. To create curve path, click, click and drag and then again click to end the path. So this is how we have a curve. Still we can edit it by using shape tool. If I will click on shape tool, I will be able to select from these three points and these node you can adjust the way you want. Now we are going to use smart fill tool to get the shape from this area. So at the bottom here we have interactive fill tool. Once you will click on this small arrow and hold the mouse you will get additional tool. Here we have smart fill. Click on smart fill and make sure you choose your desired color. I can use eyedropper and I will pick this color. Now simply click in the area you want to create shape. Click on pick tool. This path we can delete and even this rectangle we don't need for now. Let's create the other shape. Click on circle and simply create circle. Press control key to create precisely. Just place it in this way. Now we are going to get the shape from this area. So once again smart fill and if we want we can change the color. Click inside and we have another shape. Pick tool. We don't need this circle. We can delete this shape. We will convert into picture box. But before we do that we need to duplicate. Press plus key from the keyboard. In the same place we have another copy. I will just stretch it from the right side. Press control page down to send it back and I will fill it with the same color using eyedropper. Click on eyedropper and choose the color and simply click inside. Now this outer shape is selected. Press control key and click on the white color to add some light shade. Right click here to remove the outline. This upper shape we will make picture frame. To make picture frame, simply you need to right click, go to frame type and click create empty power clip frame. So now this is a picture box. Once you will drag picture over it, the picture will be inserted and later you can adjust it. Here we have another shade that is uh, orange color. We will select the shape, press plus key and simply stretch it down. The duplicated object shape it is in the front. We will press control page down. It goes back. Make some further adjustment with the shape tool. From this center point I will just move it this way to get the curve like this. Let's add orange. Here we have two circular shape. Simply click on the circle and we have a outline size that we can set here. Let's try 4. That is enough right click on the white to change the color and we are going to apply shadow. We need to click on shadow tool. 
and I am going to choose the preset from here medium glow. Here we have color, feather amount, we have transparency, we can adjust. Okay, that is enough. For now, we can fill with the white color or some gray shade. To copy this circle with the drop shadow effect, you will select the circle from the edge, click on the drop shadow. If I will click inside and press plus key, Corel Draw will make a copy of the shape only. The effect will not be copied. So, to copy the drop shadow, you need to click exactly on the drop shadow and then press plus. Now, the shape and the drop shadow both are copied. Just I can bring it down this way by pressing control key. Using power clip feature, we will add pictures. At the bottom here, we have a simple shape. Double click to create rectangular shape and from the top, we can reduce the size, we can stretch it down. I am choosing color from this flyer, but if you want, you can choose your desired color from the palette. Eyedropper and I will choose this color and fill. Right click here to remove outline. Let us remove the outline from these two shapes. You can press Alt key and just cross the object you want to select. I am holding the Alt key, so this way you can select object also. Simply right click to remove outline. Here we have shape under the text that is simple rectangle. I will click on rectangle tool and just create. We can make corner round. Here we have option make sure that edit corner together is locked. Let us add some value here maybe 5. I will fill it with the white color press control key and add some different shade. Click on the red by pressing control key. Right click here. You can do this way or if you want the same color that we have here by using eyedropper and that is simple. All the way if you want to send it back, press control end from the keyboard and control home to bring it to the front. I will press control N. Here we have a curve text on the path. I type text, we can choose this text, click on pen tool and simply create path. This text we need to bring it to the path, so while the text is selected, go to the text and here we have option fit text to path. Click on fit text to path, you can just go around the path wherever you want, you can set the text. I think it is ok here. Once you will click the text will be with the path. If I will move this from the center point, you can see that the text will be displaced this way. Undo. To bring it to your desired location, you need to click on the path and hold the text from this path and you can bring it wherever you want. Control home, bring it to the front. We can fill with white color and the problem is uh, path, we have path here, we can right click here to just avoid the path. We have text and images, I will just copy this text, press plus key, just locate it, make sure the text is not outside the margin, we will select this text, press plus. Here we have simple logo and restaurant name, control home, bring to the front. In my document, I imported already three images, press alt key and select this way. This is a picture box, directly we can clip inside and now if we want from this button, we can adjust select the content and wherever we want. We can place even we can resize and these shapes are not still the picture frame. In this case, we can select the image, go to the object, power clip, place inside frame and simply click on the circle. To adjust same thing, we can click here, select the other picture, object, power clip, place inside. This is how we created this beautiful flyer using shapes 
and smart fill tool that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you